What up? Coming to you live from a very cold day in New York City. If you haven't watched my last video, I am the new proud owner of this very rusty, clapped out Suzuki Cappuccino. And my goal in today's video is to swap out this interior. I'm loving the wood grain. I've been looking for seats for the longest. These just happen to come with a rusty car. I'm gonna swap out the center console. Maybe even take the steering wheel. I don't really love it, but it's better than my Extendo over here. Like, look how much that comes out. That has been killing me along with this bucket seat. So we're gonna take out this black leather seat, the red bucket seat, this cracked center console area, this carbon fiber wrap dash. Not a big fan of that either. And then to swap it into there. That's gonna be phase one. From there, I wanna take off things like this. I'm gonna pop those off, put them into here. At some point, I might even take this style bar. I don't love it, I don't hate it either, but I'm definitely gonna take it out and at the bare minimum, part it out. And then the red cappuccino used to have the full ricer rocket kit. So I don't have like the splash guards here anymore or even the mud flaps. So I'm thinking of maybe taking that along with the front mud flap because I can't put the back one back there with the bumper. So that may be something I entertain down the line as well. We're gonna take off the strut bar today. I already have a buyer for that. And we'll see what else I really need from this car before I place it for sale again. And then at some point, maybe not in this video, I would also like to remove all the rust like i want it to be as visible as possible so i can get an idea of how bad it really is because i know that mr rusty over here is clapped out i know it's not a safe car to drive i'm not saying that i want to turn this into a nice car i want to say i want this to be a drift car so if i can go to the same guys in city field and they just weld the beam here to support the weight i'm okay with that i don't want this to be anything but safe that's it but all right enough talking let's get this started let's start taking the seats out this should be one two three i already measured everything up you need a 13 and there's four bolts and then the other two are on each corner. So we got one there and one there. And just like that, seat number one is ready to be removed. Now let's repeat those same steps on these two. Finally. update all four seats are out added some wd-40 on these two so the rails slide a bit better and i got some good news and bad news the good news is the guy who put the bucket seat kept the seat belt in this so all i had to do was just bolt it in it was under the seat and the bad news is when we come over here to mr rusty i was gonna add this in because you need this to tighten down and kind of bolt on the bucket seat and look what I found. Not even what I found. When I end up taking this out, there's a complete hole. Let me go to the other side so you guys can see. Like, look at this. It goes completely through the car. You know, as much as I wanna save this car, as much as I think it runs perfectly fine, like, where's the keys? I'll start it up right now. This is a cold start. As much as I wanna keep this to be some type of fun build or something, I don't think it's safe. I don't think it's even worth it to drive anywhere really. Like I, I don't think driving the hour and a half was the end of the world. It's not like a car is just gonna fall into pieces, but little stuff like that just kind of proves that, you know, oh, look at this. Oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm happy I'm recording all this. Like I'm not trying to beat anyone over the head. I don't think that this car should be driven on the road anymore. I was hoping to maybe save it, but I don't think that, I think if I really continue to kick, oh yeah, look. Wow, look at that, that's outside. My hand, my hand. Yeah, this car needs to just be used for the guts. That's it. No one wants to try to drive this. As much as I like making content, as much as I think stuff like this is super fun, I don't recommend it to anybody. What I'm just gonna do is finish my swap, take off the pieces there. I start to take this off as well. I think I'm either gonna put this in mine or just sell it. This definitely has at least $200, $300 some type of value there along with like the bags and stuff like that so let me finish putting all this in let's turn this off it also has a turbo timer which i think i might put into my cappuccino as well since i don't know what i'm gonna do with this after all pretty cool it's hidden right there but yeah i guess let me just continue to take that off i'm gonna take this off as well swap it into the car and let's get those seats in. That just blew my mind. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I don't want to make it any worse than it already is, but damn, man, poor cappuccino. 
one more piece out of Mr. Rusty. I think I'm either gonna paint this black and put it in the red cappuccino or sell it. It's not bad, it's a cool little style bar. It has some weight to it too. Let's put this to the side for now. Next, let's take off the strut bar. Now let's remove this steering wheel. It's crazy, the amount of horn buttons I had access to buy in Japan and I didn't buy not one. Big regret. Now that both the steering wheels are out, let's attempt to pop this out. I already got this screw out, but it doesn't look like it wants to come out like this and I don't want to break it. There's definitely something holding it in here. I don't think I have to take this cappuccino off, but let me try to use two hands and see if I can pop this out. Actually, let's try on this side. I think this makes more sense because if I end up breaking this one, I won't mind as much as the wood grain. Just pull, am I just being scared? No, that doesn't look right. I feel like there's, there's something under here maybe? There might be, oh yeah, there is. Good thing I looked, oh my God. Now let's just hope this other side isn't as difficult. So once we remove those two and this one it actually popped right off. Now the question is, should I just take this out right now? Put it in mine and see if that changes anything? I really don't think that changing my cluster is gonna fix my speedo issue. But I'm curious on what I should do, seeing how I'm gonna put the wood grain here in a couple seconds. Update, I have a lot of news to share with you guys. Some good, some bad, some interesting. First and foremost, I was able to get the wood grain off. No pieces broke, very excited about that. Also took off the cluster. And when I took this off, I realized that this blue wire here was not connected to anything, which at first I didn't know if that made any difference. But then you come over to this one and this same wire happens to be red, is connected to here, which looks like it could have something to do with the Speedo. So I'm thinking that maybe that was just my issue with the Speedo. So hopefully I'm going to put this one over there and see if it makes a difference because we know that this one works. And I'm going to connect it to the same exact area right there and see if my speedometer works. Also, we're removing that. We got some good news. You guys ready for this? So here's my stock ECU. Regular Denzo right there. And then in Mr. Rusty, you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it because I can't believe it. Look at this. This, I believe, is an N1 ECU. You can see I'm almost taking it off. I'm not sure what to do with it because if this stays on the car, it gives it some more value, which will get some of my money back. So I'm thinking of maybe swapping it over. Maybe I won't. I kind of want it. I don't want it. At the same time, it's like, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm probably never going to drive over 85 miles per hour. So I don't necessarily need it, but... It's there for the taking if I do. And for the people who aren't familiar with the N1 ECU, you can see it says right there for competition use only. Basically what it does, it just makes the cappuccino a bit faster, plays with the timing a little bit, the throttle response, ignition, all that good stuff. And I'm able to go over 85 miles per hour, which is cool. And it just makes the car feel a bit faster. That's why I'm thinking on either leaving it on the car, which will bring the value up. I think I can still sell this for like 2,500, especially with the ECU. But for the meantime, what I'm gonna work on is swapping over from this cluster to this one. As you can see, that one says 81,000 kilometers. This one says 86. And I wanna go on a quick little rant when it comes to mileage. As someone that's been making K videos for like the last three years and I've purchased so many cars, I've joined every group. I've seen so many people talk about mileage, mileage, mileage. In my opinion, mileage is important, of course. I don't want this to say 200,000. But in my opinion, when it comes to these K cars, I don't know if, really just old cars in general, I don't know if mileage is really that important. Because this one says, 
81,000. This is the one that came on the blue car. And if you just look at it, whoever bought this car on auction, whoever bought it from Japan, probably saw it just like this. Cause from here, you can't really see all the rust and tape. Like this could have been like a 3.5 grade and they thought it was a clean running car. You got the N1 ECU. You guys saw how clean the interior is. The seats are in good condition. It's a limited model. I mean, it took everything out, but you guys saw the wood grain. From here, it looks like a really good car. In comparison to this one, which obviously it's a much better car in every single way, but this one has 86,000. And realistically, my speedometer hasn't worked since LA. So this is really closer to maybe 90,000. Who knows how long it hasn't worked? Maybe even in Hawaii, it hasn't worked for over a year. Like this could be rolled over by now. So when it comes to mileage, of course it's important, but don't let that be like the deciding factor. <laughs> Go look at the car if possible. See it in person, ask for videos, ask for more pictures, because you'll never know that this is here unless you really saw it in person. I also want to add that the people in Japan that are selling these cars, the ones that are dropping them off at auction, they're not dumb. Like they understand that Americans and people in other countries want their cars. So that's why that cappuccino had the same exact color paint to match, you know, and cover up all the rust. Like if I lived in Japan and I wanted to sell a cappuccino, let's say it had 200,000 kilometers. All I would have to do is do the same thing I'm about to do in this video, but buy a different cluster say it has 80,000 and no one's really going to check to verify the miles. Most K people don't care as much as the guy who's spending $40,000 on his GTR. We just want a fun, cute, little cool K car. That's really what we want. At least for me, I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for everybody, but that's just my two cents on mileage and clusters. I mean, a lot of times people don't really verify the miles. And that's really what I have to say about mileage. So I'm going to swap this one over. When I sell the car, I'll just say undisclosed mileage because I really have no idea how much it has. I'm going to ground the wire up to here where it says SP. Maybe that stands for a speedometer. And hopefully just doing that, this will work. So this is how it was on old Rusty. Let me see if I can get that a bit tighter. All right, so seat in, steering wheel in. This isn't even bolted down to anything. But now let's see if my speedometer works start this up that moves which is a good sign everything looks like it works all the lights work all right i'm gonna pull this out let's just go around the block if it goes up to 30 kilometers that means my speedo works if it doesn't i think i have to mess with the cable and the transmission i should be able to tell honestly like right now just when i reverse it makes a difference it's not like it's moving at all. Maybe that wasn't my solution because I'm clearly moving, but oh man. Don't tell me that was just a waste of time. I'm definitely not going. Oh yeah, I think it's messed up though because I'm not going 20 kilometers an hour right now. Let's turn. Oh yeah, it's, it's reading, but it's definitely not reading. Like right now I'm not going 20, look at that. Like I'm not going that fast at all. Yeah, oh look, it's fluctuating. Okay. So I guess that's not the solution. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not going. Oh look, it died again. This works though, which is good. That wasn't working before, so now I can clock up some miles. But look, I'm at a stop right now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cluster solution has not been solved. I do have to say sitting in this seat though, I am very happy with the way this feels, especially with the steering wheel. Although I don't love the steering wheel, just not having it so close to me makes a huge difference. All right, so let's put this back inside. My RPMs and everything are tripping. I wonder if I just didn't tighten this down all the way, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I guess the car's not gonna be done today. This is definitely gonna be a two or three part video because I'm not gonna put the seats in until I fix this and I'm not gonna put the wood grain in until I fix this because I'm gonna continue to take it off. Even the steering wheel isn't really fully all the way on. But all right, back to the drawing board. Check engine light's still on too. Check engine light's still on. I wonder what that's about. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, it's even worse than before deja vu of my road trip right now and now that we're back home i wanted to walk over to the blue cappuccino and see exactly what wire was connected to the speedo 
it's this pink guy right here and when i pulled it i really didn't even pull too hard it says car speed signal unit so this i'm not really sure what it was once connected to someone let me know in the comments but i think the way i did it was fine i just believe that what i'm going to have to end up doing is removing this wheel and getting to the diff and changing the speed sensor from both these cars i think after i do that i should be fine i don't know why i was tripping as far as like the rpms and everything goes i'm going to see if i also maybe swap over the ecu but i don't really want to put anything back before the car is complete what i think i'm gonna do now before in this video because it's starting to get dark is i'm just gonna remove the center console put it over there see if i can get this radio unit in as well and i think that's where day one of the part out is gonna end so let's start loosening all this up Before we put the new center console in, I wanted to take this off. I also want to swap this off with the one on the blue one. I want to see if I can put the wood grain directly over this. So let's see how everything is now going to line up. I need to swap out that radio too, so I might not even put this in fully. But let's just see. Yeah, you see there were some modifications done to this. So look at that huge hole I have. Extremely ugly, obviously. So I guess, unfortunately, we won't be using this. There's a dude who commented on Facebook that he wanted this ashtray. It's now for sale if you still want it. Actually, we might end up keeping this. I found a single DIN radio with GPS on Amazon. I think I'm going to order that. And I think I'm also going to end today's video. I've been out here since 9 in the morning. It's currently 4.30. If you haven't already, like this video. It takes one second. I think all my videos should get at least 100 likes. I know 100 people are watching it. But I'm freezing. I don't think there's anything more I could really do today. I think on tomorrow's agenda, I'm going to see if I could remove this wheel. I'm going to see if I change the speed sensor and I'm able to reach the diff and do all that. I am also might change the fuel filter. I heard it's pretty easy. And if we're able to successfully get the speedometer to work on here, then at that point, I can start to put the seats in. I can start listing the things that are for sale. The strut bar's already sold. That's already sold. The wheels are already sold. And then I'm not really going to put too much things back. Like initially, I was going to put stuff like this back inside that cappuccino but the way it looks i'm 99 sure whoever buys this is most likely going to just part it out strip it sell the windshield maybe they have time to part everything out piece by piece i personally don't so i'm going to put the seats back i'm going to put everything back i'm probably not going to mount it to the ground as you can see it's not really safe i'll still put the steering wheel back and everything though but i'll end this video here catch you guys in the next one pretty surprising update on mr rusty and this guy we still got to figure out what I'm going to do with the ECU over here too. But all right, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.